What's up YouTube? Are you ready to take your SEO game to the next level? In this video, I'm going to show you a revolutionary technique for ranking on the first page of Google using a new AI SEO tool. This powerful tool is going to blow your mind. Trust me, what I'm about to reveal is a game changer for SEO. Let's go. So using this new tool, I've generated these blogs. Now, I know these blogs are going to rank on Google because I have done this process before. If we take a quick look at another domain, I used this process for back in late March, early April, the domain was purchased. So this is a brand new domain. And you can see over about the last six months, we've had over four and a half thousand organic clicks. This is from SEO and around 19,000 impressions. So does the process and the strategy work? Yes, absolutely. So this tool I'm going to show you and the strategy is definitely worth taking notice of. If you're looking for any of the apps or tools that are mentioned in this video, there'll probably be a link in the description. But if there's not, you can head over to the channel Ambitious and just click on the link over here and it will take you to the Ambitious Hub which looks a bit like this. And you'll find a whole bunch of stuff in here that might be helpful if you're trying to rank on the first page of Google. Okay, to get started, the first thing we want to do is go to Google and type in Mango SEO. And here we go. This is what we're looking for. Mango SEO, the future of search engine optimization. Now, when you get here, if you don't have an account, you can sign up. Now, this is going to cost you less than 50 cents a day on the lowest plan and everything I'm going to show you today is available on that plan. Therefore, it's a bit of a no brainer, right? So anyway, once you're here, all we need to do, head up to the menu and click on content strategy. Now, this is where the magic happens. We enter our keyword in and it's going to develop a strategy for us. But first we need to decide on a keyword. Now, about a week ago, I put a post out and I asked the subscriber community, let me know a website that I could demo on the channel and I've selected one of these for to use as part of today's video. And that website is called the shop.pet. Now this is an e-commerce store. It sells pet accessories. And if we go into the catalog, we can see, you know, dog leads and other bits and pieces. So what we're going to do is develop a strategy that the owner of this website can use because currently they have no content and we need content to drive clicks, traffic and sales. Okay, so back over on our content strategy tool, all we need to do is enter in pet accessory as the keyword and let the tool do the rest. Okay, so now we have our content strategy. Let's firstly go through the columns. We've got keyword cluster. This is a subcategory of our keyword. That's pretty clear. Pet clothing, pet toys, pet accessories, etc. Then we have the keyword. This is the keyword this category is targeting, uh, the, the cluster is targeting, sorry. Uh, then we have our search intent. Now, this is really important. Now, for this example, for this store, it's e commerce. We want people to maybe come onto the site, read the article uh, because they're looking to buy, you know, dog clothes, dog accessories, pet accessories. And then we want them to click off into the catalog and purchase. So once we have our strategy, we pick a few articles that we want to generate. Uh, if you are just got a newsletter, you might go for informational, but this is e-commerce. So we are going for commercial search intent. That's important. We're going to generate the content for this article here. So I'm just going to copy this title and then we go back up to the menu and I'm going to use Beethoven for, for this particular piece of content. Now, Beethoven has two steps. We don't need to use step one because we already know the content that we're going to generate. So we just put this up in the top section here and we're just going to hit generate the content. OK, so the AI has generated our content. You can see this is a fairly detailed content and you will find if you put this into a word count, it's going to be about between 1200 and 1400 words. Depending on which tool you're, you're using, you can take it as markdown. You can also get it as plain text. Or if you want, you can also get it in HTML by clicking this. 
if you're so inclined, you can also email it or just, just copy it straight out as, as plain text, whatever works for you. And I should have mentioned, you can also have this generated in a whole bunch of different languages that you can select. This is one piece of content. Now, one piece of content is, is not enough. We need to generate multiple pieces of content. So from our strategy, we just work through the articles that we think are most appropriate to our, to our store. So now that we've gone through how you can generate your strategy and your content, we repeat this process to get more content targeting our keyword to drive traffic for our store. Now, other thing that's really important, as we know with SEO, is your meta title and meta description. We can see here our content. This will generate our meta description. And if you if you don't like what it generates or you need some alternatives, what you can do, for example, if I copy this title here, I can go up to the menu here, and this is all on the entry level plan. I could go to SEO meta here. I'm just putting that title, Comprehensive Guide to Pet Grooming Kits. Click on this and it's going to give us 10 different versions of meta title and meta description. So you've also got that, that option. This is a really useful tool in conjunction with our strategy just to get the perfect title, perfect description for our content. Okay, just some final tips to wrap this up. If you are using this content strategy, I think it's worthwhile doing it in conjunction with hub and spoke or pillar and cluster type strategy. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link above. You can check that out. But basically what it means is say one in 10 of your articles, you highly optimize them for SEO. And the way I would recommend doing that is use a tool like Surfer, follow its rules. I've done videos on that previously and really crank up the SEO optimization of about one in 10 articles. So I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, please give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.